friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. Today we're gonna do a fun how to style lookbook and I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that I style my Jordan 1. So if you guys saw my sneaker collection lookbook, I showcased these shoes as well as a lot of the other sneakers that I have in my collection and I recently have been so obsessed with Jordan 1s and I love the way that they look. I recently also got two more pairs and I have just been so obsessed with looking at sneakers lately and it's all I've been wearing so I definitely wanted to up my sneaker game. Before we go ahead and dive into the video, I'll go ahead and link the shoes that I have down below. These shoes can actually be pretty expensive, especially if you have small feet like me. I'm normally a size six to six and a half. These shoes I actually recently picked up. I've been eyeing them on StockX for weeks. One of my friends actually owns a sneaker consignment shop. So his store is called Soul Seattle. So I think you can purchase their shoes through their Instagram. I ended up copying these in size five youth. And I just think these are such a cool shoe. These are actually the Obsidians. And I think these are such a good pair. They're super neutral so they go with a lot of things. These ones were the first pair that I got and I feel like these are such a classic. They go with so many different things. I love the pop of red and I love that the toe is white because I feel like it makes them a little bit more versatile. I think I picked these up from Grailed or Go. I always mix up the two, but I picked these up used. So they are like pretty beat up, but they are my first pair and I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on them. So I am really happy that I picked these up and I get compliments on them all the time. This is another pair that I recently picked up. These are the Shadows, and I think these are another good neutral pair. I didn't have a pair that had a colored toe yet, so I thought these would be super fun. I definitely want to pick up the black and white ones next just because I feel like those are like the ideal colorway. These are also just super cool and really classic, and I got this one from Goat, so I bought it used off of someone, and I got it for a pretty good price, and these are in pretty good condition as well. So this is the first outfit that I have. I just uploaded a video trying on all of the denim shorts that I have in my collection. These shorts are actually from Kasubi and I recently cut them and I feel like this long length makes them so cool and perfect for street style outfits. This top is actually a bralette from Urban Outfitters. I believe it's their Out From Under collection, but I love their bralettes because everything is just so soft and super comfy and I feel like layered underneath a baggy zip up kind of gives it that really cool laid back effortless vibe you guys have seen this hoodie before i love how oversized it is and i've just been so into zip ups lately i styled it with these shadows just because i feel like the colors kind of play together super nicely 
I always wear high socks whenever I wear Jordan 1s or any type of chunky sneakers and I get questions all the time about where I get my socks so go ahead and leave them linked down below but I normally like to get them from Uniqlo or Amazon has really good socks as well. Okay, Nexus outfit is one of my go-to's and I feel like baggy jeans, baggy hoodie and some Jordan 1s is just like the ultimate cool girl look. These jeans are some of my most highly asked about and these are the Kasubi playback jeans. They are limited edition, so they're super hard to find, but I'll go ahead and link similar pairs down below. And I love that they're long and baggy and they're distressed as well. I just feel like they look so cool and laid back. This hoodie is actually brand new. It's from Fear of God. I picked these up from PacSun and I got it in a size medium. And I'm really glad because I was debating between a medium and large. And I feel like this one fits me perfect. It's like the perfect oversized look that I was going for. And I like that it says essentials in black. And I have a hoodie collection video, but this hoodie is not included because it is like so brand new, but it definitely already has become one of my more worn hoodies. And I think it is one of my favorites in my collection already. Without the hoodie, I have this crop top here from Aritzia that I paired with this outfit. And I think this is another great kind of like cooler summer day outfit. And I've just recently been so into gray and I feel like it plays into the colors really nicely. Okay, actually I love this next outfit and I love that the shirt is so oversized. It looks almost like a t-shirt dress. I am wearing denim shorts underneath and if I really wanted to, I could tuck in this shirt so that some of my shorts are showing like that. But I actually kind of like the way that it looks just like this because I feel like it is super casual and laid back. I feel like that's the whole vibe whenever I wear Jordan 1s. This denim jacket is thrifted and I feel like it is the perfect finishing touch to the outfit and I love that it's so oversized. I always get so many questions about this. I picked it up at a flea market and I just love the way that it looks over any type of like baggy outfit. This shirt is also thrifted. You've seen it a couple of times on my channel and I feel like it's just a really good graphic tee. They are the perfect piece to go with any any type of like chunky sneaker just because they give such a cool vibe. These are also thrifted from Levi's. I paired it with these Jordan ones just because I feel like the colors in it go really nicely with my outfit. I like the pop of red and how it adds just a little extra oomph to the outfit. Okay, this next outfit is super similar to one of the last ones and I think this is just such an easy breezy outfit. Especially when you're wearing Jordan 1s, I feel like the shoes are the highlight of the outfit. You don't really need to overthink the outfit too much. I usually just like pairing super simple things together. This t-shirt I actually thrifted from Poshmark. I just love that it was a Porsche tee. The colors in this t-shirt are super nice and I feel like they went perfectly with these shoes. These are the same Kasubi jeans from earlier and I just love pairing these jeans with anything oversized. I just think it makes Everything looks super cool. I actually think I've worn this outfit on my Instagram before. This is one option. If it got a little bit chillier, I would actually swap this shirt for a different hoodie that I'll show you in a second. So this hoodie is actually something that I cut up myself. I used to have something similar from Shein, but the quality of the hoodie was just so crappy. I only used it for working out. I ended up replacing that with this, and this is actually a higher quality cotton hoodie that I ended up cutting myself. And I just love the way that cropped hoodies look with baggy clothes. Anyways, I love this outfit, it's super easy, something that I would wear a lot. Okay, this next outfit I feel like is super cool. When I put together, I actually had a all gray sweatsuit in mind, but I just feel like since this is a matching set, I just thought it was perfect. This hoodie and these sweats are actually from Talentless. These are from the women's. I actually prefer the way that the men's hoodies fit better. I love the color of this hoodie and I feel like this set looks super cool paired with a Blazer over top, I feel like the colors all play together super nicely and I feel like this would be the perfect airport fit. This blazer is from Everlane. I've worn it so many different times. I think I have it in a size four because it is already an oversized fit. I have this hoodie in a woman's size medium and I almost feel like it's kind of an awkward fit because it is a little bit oversized but still kind of fitting. I wish it was a little bit baggier on me. So that's the only thing I would say about it. So I did actually style it kind of like rolled up. These sweats are a little bit too tight for me and now that I have it on like without the jacket I think they look a little bit ridiculous because they're just so like slim fitting to my leg I usually like my sweats to look a little bit baggier and oversized so I wish I got these in a size medium but the color of them is just so darn cute and I love the whole matching set and the shoes also pair really nicely with it this outfit is what I'm the most excited about I'm actually obsessed with these shoes. These are the Obsidians and I just feel like these are so dope and the colors are so cool and they go with so many different things. 
I kind of wanted to play off the blue, so I paired it with this denim corset top that I just got. This is from a black owned clothing company. I actually have a black owned fashion haul coming soon. I'm just waiting for one pair of shoes that still haven't come yet. And I think I ordered them like two months ago, so I should probably check on those. I have been planning to do one, but I'm just waiting for everything to come in. This brand is actually a black owned fashion company that I just discovered. They actually sent me a couple of pieces and I'm obsessed with how it looks. I feel like it's such a unique piece. And since it was such a like tight fitting top, I wanted to pair it with these baggy pants and these pants are from Outdoor Voices. I actually picked this up when Brad and I went to San Francisco for our five year anniversary. These I got in the men's section and they are a size medium and I just love them. I love the way that they fit and I feel like they're just such a cool looking pant. They actually have a little tightening situation as well which is nice because they still are baggy but it still fits me around the waist. I just love the way that they look paired with this crop top because it plays really nicely with the proportions and it makes my legs look so freaking long. Okay, so the corset top from the last outfit was from Risk 22. They had a lot of like really cute denim pieces and I feel like this dress is so unique looking and it fits me so well. I love the little slit and it really gives me like Princess Polly cutesy vibes. I also love the contrast of pairing something like this with Jordan 1's just because I feel like it is so unexpected but the colors play together really nicely and especially with the white high top socks I just feel like it's something that you can definitely pair together. This dress actually is so cute and even though it is denim it kind of is stretchy enough that it's still really flattering and it fits me in all the right places but because it is denim it is a little bit thicker and I don't know if I would actually wear this in the summer because I'm like sweating right now. This shirt is from Aritzia and like I said, I feel like it is a finishing piece to this outfit. It makes the outfit just look like I put a little bit more thought into it. I love how the colors all play together super nicely. It looks very, very intentional. What the heck has this been here the whole time? I love a good monochrome outfit and I feel like this is a really great casual outfit that you can wear to so many different occasions.